welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we're doing a review of the Vestron Collector Series edition of Chopping Mall, where shopping will cost you an arm and a leg. Written by Jim Wynorski and Steve Mitchell, directed by Jim Wynorski, starring Barbara Crampton and Kelly Mahoney, Chopping Mall is about eight teenagers who are trapped in a mall after hours and are chased by murderous killbots. What do we like about this movie, guys? I like the idea that killbots go on a murderous <laughs> rampage in a, in a shopping mall. I almost called it a shopping mall, but yes, it's just Johnny Fives trying to kill everybody. Back in like the 80s and even the 90s, like the mall is the coolest place to be. So like it's realistic for like these teens or young adults. Yeah, they're all actually <laughs> twice the teenager's age. Yeah. There's one guy who looks like he's 45. It makes sense for them to want to be like all working in the mall and wanting to stay after and party in the mall. Robots don't make sense, but like, <laughs> hey, it's a movie. Well, they're advanced security guards, right? And it just so happens that there's a thunderstorm that turns them evil. Makes complete sense. I like the design of the robots themselves. They look really cool and there's not just like a guy like pushing them along like you might think in an 80s movie. These are remote controlled. I wouldn't say that they're menacing in, in any sense, but they, they're mobile. It's not stopping! Their heads reminded me of like Alpha from Power Rangers. Yeah. They're like Alpha 3, and the Power Rangers had Alpha 5. But they, they were cool, so they had arms. Mm -hmm. Little grabbers, yeah, right? I had one of those. They were actually made from the toy, and then spray painted. They had lasers. Wires to like shock oh, people. Yeah, like yeah. little tasers that yeah. they would shoot. They were the <laughs> politest killers I've ever seen. Thank you, have a nice day. Besides our cool killbots, we actually had some awesome characters in this movie. When you look at Mike in this movie, you think like he's like the initial douchebag. You're becoming a real candidate for prickhood. <laughs> and I loved him, always chewing gum. Just like he's got the big jaw, he's got the large hair. Like he just looks exactly like a douchebag would look. And Ferdy, he was like the guy who was like, I'm gonna be the guy to start the collar popping. In the 80s, if you wanted to get cool, there was two things you had to do. Take off your glasses, pop your collar. Tonight you are gonna shake that ultra Wally image of yours once and for all. But I like my image, I don't wanna shake. So the good thing about a mall is that there's various stores where you can go and you can find different weapons like the people do. Um, you can end up in different situations. So that's what's really, I think, advantageous to this movie is the setting. Like there's so many different situations that they're put in that the mall gives that makes this movie unique and fun. And it also allows the audience to understand where everybody's at because you start to get a feel for how the mall is laid out and you know which robots are on which level because there's three robots, there's three levels to the mall and it's super easy to understand. Because of the setting, they got to be very creative and we got to see different ways, pretty smart ways, ways that we would think of as people watching the movie of like, why don't they do this? So they try that, try and fail, try and fail until they find a successful solution. So I really enjoyed that. The movie allowed itself to be creative. Stepping into the technical aspect of things, I thought the cinematography was well ahead of its time. It was really good. There were a lot of long takes that I did not expect from something that you just look back on Jim Wynarski's <laughs> body of work. And he's known for all these cheesy movies, but then going back to Chopping Mall from 86, it's like, it, it was really solid. And the explosions? Yeah, which led to some really good kills, I gotta say. I was impressed with some of the kills in this movie. There were some good practical effects and the head explosion. The head explosion is definitely gangster. It's up there with scanners. Some would say number two overall. <laughs> yes. And though heads may be exploded in this film, they were also turning. We had some bodacious babes that were always nice to look at. Of course we have Barbara Crampton. You smell like pepperoni. Well, that's the way you feel. Wait a minute. What? I like pepperoni. And Susie Slater really shocked the gang here when she popped them things out and it was marvelous. What didn't we like about this movie, guys? Overall, the movie is pretty enjoyable. One thing I didn't really like was that the characters kept shooting at the fucking robots. <laughs> it didn't ever work. And the first time, you can forgive them. You're like, okay, maybe we're just hitting the bad parts. The second time... Maybe using different rounds, stronger yeah, guns, right? Maybe. maybe maybe you're aiming different. Maybe you're just desperate. Maybe you're trying to slow them down. But the like third to like tenth time, at that point, just stop. Just stop. Also, the robot's laser blasts. <laughs> Not like... The look 
I can forgive. The consistency of what actually hurts the people. One person will get shot in the shoulder, not even flinch. One person gets shot in the stomach, dead on the spot. It makes no sense. A laser is a laser. Blew up, it blew up that chick's head, yeah. and then it gets pinged in the shoulder and just screams. <laughs> We do get some blood. Not a ton, but I wish we got a little bit more than we actually did. Yeah, because it's called Chopping Mall. Based on like the cover art and the name, you'd think it was like an actual just like serial killer. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's not, we're not taking that away from the film because we knew what it was about, mm -hmm. but I think a lot of people would think that. Like, they'd be like, oh, I'm gonna watch like a guy with an ax go through a, a store, a mall, a yeah, mall yeah. and kill people. And unfortunately, it's not that. But fortunately, it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for a final thoughts and ratings. Chopping Mall is one of those movies that reminds me why the 80s were so dope. Because you can do whatever you want. The location was a mall, which is awesome. And we had robots instead of just some guy with a machete. And so it was so different and just great. We had robots, we had babes, and in general the production value was great because the location was so big and they had a lot to play with and it was really fun. And from start to finish, this is just a fun time. So I'm gonna give this four and a half guys stealing records from a place called Licorice Pizzas out of five. Chopping Mall is a really enjoyable movie. Mm -hmm. You got robots, you got girls, you got douchebags, you got pop collars, you got big hair, you got lasers. There's a lot in this movie. So you're gonna have a blast. It's a good movie to sit down with your friends if you like classic 80s movies. Yeah, I'm audacious. The title is misleading, but I don't think that'll take away from your fun. So I definitely recommend it. So I'm gonna give it four right ways to say hello out of five. You horny bastard. <laughs> Chopping Mall is a great throwback film. You got babes, you got bots, and you got boobs. It's just a fun time. Like the concept itself is ridiculous and that's what makes it enjoyable. I think if you've seen the film, it's a great revisit. And if you haven't seen it, you totally should check it out. So with that being said, I'm gonna give this film four and a half cock starters out of five. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and comment below with your thoughts on the film if you've seen it. If you haven't and you do want to check it out, there are links in the description where you can find it. Lionsgate just released an awesome version of it. It has so many special features, including audio commentaries, behind the scenes, all that shit. And if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, stay updated with everything Bloodbath and beyond.